We are now joined by NBC News political correspondent Kate Snow. Kate, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Oh, sure thing, Mark. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Kate, all right, which candidate had the best weekend in Florida? Well, uh, Romney is way up in our poll as of this morning. The NBC poll for Florida voters is showing him up about 15 points over Newt Gingrich. So I think you'd probably have to say the momentum has really shifted back his way uh, since South Carolina, when, of course, Newt Gingrich won unexpectedly. But the thing that we noticed in Florida was that the voters we talked to, and this wasn't at Romney events or Gingrich events, this was just voters out you know, at coffee shops and on the street, saying that they're really mixed about, or they're really uncertain about what to do in this election. They don't like many of the candidates. Uh, I think it's a really volatile electorate with people looking for some better option all the time and not, not being able to find it. And we, we had an interview last week with, with one of your peers who said getting a late addition into the field is not very likely at this point. So how does, how does our primary season this year compare to 2007 with the Democrats when we kind of had a similar situation, especially early on, with no clear front runner? Are, are they parallel? Well, I don't know. I don't know that anyone would make a strong parallel between Obama and Clinton and that primary race, which I actually covered back then, mm -hmm. which went, went on, as you remember, well through Super Tuesday and all the way to June until we knew that Obama would be the candidate. I think this time around, the Republican Party operatives would probably tell you that if Romney does well in Florida tomorrow, mm -hmm. we're getting very close to a point where he will be the nominee for his party. Although Newt Gingrich, to be fair, keeps saying he's going to stick in all the way until the convention. So I suppose it could go as long. Um, but it is a, it's an interesting race to watch. But I will say a lot of voters feeling like they don't have the excitement that they had uh, of 2008, that that was a wide open race on both sides. And, and people were excited. Now people are upset about the economy and not so jazzed up to go vote. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see how, how this all plays out, both tomorrow and, of course, further down the road as we start to get those results in and see where the race takes us. Kate, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Mark.